Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Combiner Wars, Generation Combiner Wars Autobot Power Glide. Let's take a look at the package. I really love, I really love that, the G1 look of Power Glide. I like, I like this. Uh, it's supposed to be a uh, Gun Force Superion. You can see that. Here's the back of the box, 10, point, uh, 10 easy steps to transform him. He's not that bad, and he's supposed to be a Gun 4 good old air raid or any of the what do you call those uh, Autobots I forgot the combiners here's the side of the box and I dropped the guy Superions ah uh, aerial bots couldn't think of it let's get the size comparison out of the way since I got him in robot mode already here he is with GI Joe so he's a legends class scout class whatever you want to call it this I don't have G1 power glide but I do have G1 gold bug so you can see that, and there he is with Megatron. Say, so yeah, it's a small little figure. All right, so you got the com or sorry size comparison out of the way. I like the figure. I like the little turret on the top here. I like his face mold. I like that he has articulation. Doesn't come with a weapon, so I have to steal Computron G1 Computron's gun there. Ball jointed shoulder joint. A hinge on the elbow, no swivel on the wrist, swivel on the head, and let me show you that. I like that very evocative of G1. I like the humongous G1 symbol. Ball jointed hips, ball jointed knee, and a swivel. Sorry, a hinge for the ankle. So yeah, you can get them in pretty decent poses. So a yeah, good looking mode, 8 out of 10 in this mode. Let's go ahead and transform them. It's not that bad. I know it takes 10 easy steps. See if I remember how to do that. It also has this little, let's see, B1178. Don't know exactly what that stands for. Cool though. Yeah, it's a neighbor's dog. I don't know if you can hear that. But first thing we're going to do is swivel the head. There we go. And then pops out. And here's one thing, you want to make sure you pull the landing gear first. Very important because it's not going to be a pain. And there's two little notches right here that notch into, sorry, right here. So they're supposed to notch something like that. All right, and put this back down. I'm going to unpeg the wings. Okay, it's pretty sturdy actually. And then we're going to fold the arms and they're going to peg into right little tab right there. Same thing on the other side, pegs in right there. Okay, so it's looking good. Okay, the legs just the, the tab together, so make sure this tab hits that tab right there. Okay, not bad so far. Pretty almost done actually. And fold the vertical stabs up, move the thruster, the engine actually back because these are the thrusters. I think I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't know anything about the A10 Thunderbolt. I know that that is a cannon. So there it is. Eh, yeah. I know the hands look aren't supposed to. Uh, don't really hide the hands very well. They're supposed to be drop tanks, missiles on the sides here, and that's for the gun mode. So there it is. Look, not looking too bad. It doesn't roll, but it has landing gear. Always a plus, so it can land. Six out of ten out of this mode. It's not too horrible. Okay, good. Now let's go ahead and transform it into weapon mode. So we're going to keep that on there. I'm going to move the wings back and tab them just like they were in robot mode. And that will reveal the missile, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to move the thrusters forward. Yeah, kind of neat. Oops, I didn't know they went that forward. Don't do that. <laughs> and move these up. Beautiful. There's your gun mode. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. So, fits into any 5 mil pig, and I have it with this humongous beast of a guy. And I'll do a video review on this guy. That is Beast Wars, so he can. Let me show you. Move that back a little bit so you can see. Yeah, he can hold it fairly, fairly tight. So. Oh yeah, I forgot to flip that up. Make sure that's up. So. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. I won't really count that as a whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing it. That's okay. It's uh, your personal preference if you want to put these down. I mean, that's supposed to be where the weapons are. I'm going to push these up because I'm going to transform them back into robot mode. Because this is the way, in my opinion, how it's supposed to be displayed. Yeah, well, okay, good. Put that back up. Quick transformation so y'all can see how awesome this thing looks in robot mode. Boop it up. And as you can see, not too much of a stretch to transform them from that mode. There he is. Man, this is the way you're supposed to display this guy. There ain't no doubt about it. Alright, YouTubers. That's all I got. And I'll catch y'all next time.